Good morning, modern steaders. Wasn't expecting to wake up to this this morning. We got about another, I don't know, four or five inches of snow last night. There was no snow in the forecast, but we got some more. Come on, Tanner, this way. Good boy. You're all covered in snow. It's gonna tangle you up. What are you doing? Tanner, this way. Believe it or not, under there are all of our raised garden beds. Come on. We gotta wait for the bus. Good thing you got your snow boots on. You're sitting like a good boy. You playing in the snow, huh? He likes licking the snow. Where are you going? We're over here. Tanner. Hey, Tanner, we're over here. Tanner. <laughs> you crazy. You crazy puppy. Okay, here comes the bus. Love you. Love you. Have a good day. Oh, is your buddy leaving you? Huh? Did Libby's leave you? She's gotta go to school. I know. We'll get her later. Come on. Let's go in the house. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but the birds are chirping. When we get snow this time of the year and the birds are chirping, it just means it's not gonna last. Oh, I love hearing that sound, guys. <laughs> Puts a smile on my face. Good morning, chickens. Girls hungry for some grub? Before we know it, we'll be letting the chickens back out on pasture. That is gonna be a good day. Oh, we're gonna need this. Oh, look at all that fresh powder we got last night. Luckily, it's all light and fluffy. <sighs> If I had a leaf blower, it'd probably be easier to clean it off. The skies look pretty nice this morning. I'm going you to work. No work done. I'm going you to work. Didn't get any work done if you came. All oh, the ladies at work would love it. I love it. I love you. Oh yeah. Love you. I'll tell them. I said, Tiana wanted to come work with me today. Right. Hey, have a good appointment. Sip. Everybody's leaving you, Tanner. Ah, oh, I know I just said it, guys, but hear those birds? Ah, oh, that gives me so much hope. <laughs> Ah, love it. That's a different kind of bird than we've been hearing the last couple of days, so more and more birds are coming. That's inspiring. I wonder what the goats are gonna think about the snow. They're probably not gonna be too happy.
much snow build up, it's taking the gate right off. Oh, crazy weather, guys. Crazy weather. Hey, Figaro. Look at all that fresh snow, girls. There you go. Ah. Seems like they're loving all their fresh bedding. Drank most of their water. Is that hay good? You like the pellets? Shoveled this out yesterday. Good morning, Buttercup. Blossom. Willow. I know, I don't have any treats for you. No treats. Sorry. No treats. You ready to go back in the house, Figaro? You ready? Come on, Figaro, let's go in. You ready to go out to New York City, Pluto? Figaro, I think, has got cabin fever. He just came in, and now he wants to go back out. This time of the year is when cabin fever starts setting in for everybody. I don't know who's got it worse, though, the animals or the people. <laughs> and I kind of, I shouldn't say feel bad, but it's going to be interesting to see Tanner out in the mud in the grass because he's what 12 weeks old now so he's never seen grass mud or dirt he's just only ever known cold and snow so that's gonna be interesting to see what's that what I can't talk this morning what that's like for him I can't wait guys oh them birds I know I keep saying it guys but this is the first day I've heard so many. Figaro has been around here patrolling New York City. I can see his tracks. He's keeping an eye on them. That snow is almost up to the door. <laughs> oh, guys, crazy weather. Good morning, girls. Oh, I forgot your chaff hay again today. I'll have to bring some out later. I'm looking for the weather to warm up so we can start doing some spring cleaning on all the animal buildings. Everything's been frozen for so long, it's hard to clean anything. There we go. Oh, whitewash the water dish. Oh, it looks like we got an egg this morning, guys. The wood shavings have been working the best for me for nesting box material. I used to always use hay or straw before. And the chickens would always pull it out, so at least once a week, you had to replace it or fill it up. That straw's been in there. That straw. <laughs> wood sh those wood shavings have been in there for, I'd say, a good month. And we haven't had to replace them yet. We're going to keep using the wood shavings in the nesting boxes. Someone was asking about our water for our chickens. It says avocado oil. We use avocado oil for all of our baking and cooking. So when we can, we buy it bulk. 
and then we just saved the container because it's an awesome jug for lugging water. We're just giving our animals regular water, no avocado water. Boy, that tree sure is beautiful. Look at that background, guys. What a gorgeous scenery. Look at that. Oh, there's beauty everywhere, guys. Come on, look at you. I'm gonna plow for a few minutes and then I'll be back. This is what, the third time in like 24 hours we've, been, we've had to plow so far? Ah, guys, this is crazy. Oh, guys, I can't get over how tall some of these snow banks are getting. That one down there is probably eight feet tall and I bet you it's 20 feet deep. And those are just as bad. <sighs> We got most of it plowed up and cleaned up. It's snowing out again. But I gotta go in the house, get Tanner. We gotta bring Tanner to the vet again today. Oh, 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 guys. I just did like a split and luckily I caught myself. Slippery right there. Gotta go in the house, get Tanner. We gotta bring him to the vet today. Come here, Tanner. You ready? But it's like, I want to go. Yeah, you really don't, Pluto. When we get back, I want to work more on the goat disputting box. I was hoping to do some of that this morning, but we had to plow. You ready to go in and find out how much you weigh? Last time you weighed five pounds, Tanner, two weeks ago. What are you gonna weigh today? 10 pounds? Huh. You ready? No, oh, give me your leash. Hi there. Come oh, on in. You heard this, look at you. Come, Come on. on over. Come Can on. He is. Oh, okay. That's yep. why. All right. <laughs> Hi. Come on. Hi. Oh, hang oh. on. Still? There you go. 7.3. All right. You weigh less than it. Mine did when he was eight weeks old. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Is yours a mini or? No, he's a standard. Okay. He um, was nine pounds when we got him. So. Ah. He's about 46 now. So, 46 pounds? Yeah. Good boy. Did you see yourself in the window, Tanner? Is that what you're barking at? Your reflection? You're staring yourself down. <sighs> we made it back. You still in one piece? You ready to go run around? He got his rabies shot today and a distemperment. He don't like getting shots. I don't blame him. So now that we're back, I wanna get some oil finish on the goat disputting box. <sighs> the fun pot, putting on rubber gloves. Yeah, not too bad. They always seem to be a little difficult. All right, we're gonna need some mineral oil. I like using Milk Paints Pure Tongue Oil. I like to cut it 
50-50 the most. Maybe go a little bit more with the tongue oil and a little bit less with the mineral spirits. Oh, there we go. This is what we've used in the house to finish the walls and the floors. I've had really good luck with it. It's food grade. I think if you have a nut allergy, you need to be careful, but we don't. But it's food grade, it doesn't smell bad. So how much do we have in there? We have eight ounces. That'll be good. Oh, I like the viscosity of that. It's got a good thickness. The only nice thing about the tongue oil is there's no nasty smells to it. It's got a nutty scent to it, which is nice. I love putting the first coat on. It brings out so much beauty of the wood. Ah, oh, look at that, guys. Did you just look at it? It's so gorgeous. And we'll hit the maple. The maple's gonna be a different color. Ah, oh, it's gonna pop nicely. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, the smell of this brings me back to memories of when we were building our house, guys. We finished all the floors and all the walls with the tongue oil, so... Oh. It's funny how smells and scents can bring, can just bring back memories. They've actually doing quite a bit of science, I don't want to know if it's experiments you'd want to call it, but in like nursing homes. They're trying to do it. Um, I think movie theaters are thinking about adding different scents and variations while you're watching movies to kind of spark your mind and get you thinking different things. It'd be kind of neat though if you went to a movie and you were watching a movie and say it was like on cooking or something and they had the smells of the food that they were cooking going through the movie theater. That'd be like the first attempt of smell of vision Oh, that'd be kind of fun. Maybe we can do that for YouTube. Alright, so after being oiled, before being oiled, let's do a straight line just for the heck of it. Kind of like a side by side comparison. Kind of neat looking before and after. Chest on my chest. Be my lover, yeah. Be Might as well put some on the inside friend. too, just to help seal it. So if we gotta clean it or anything, it's got a good protective coat of oil. Alright, I've done a few coats now. It's looking good. The leftovers I'm just gonna pour right back into the container of tongue oil. To the sound of voices in so it's been a little while now. I got a couple of coats of oil on there. It's not, the wood's on, the wood's not soaking in anymore. So what I need to do at this point is wipe off the excess oil and then let it dry. Now I like the look of the screws. It's just, it's a different contrast, the different colors and I don't know, I like it. They're spaced evenly apart. Some people said they didn't like it and I ruined the project. I should have used dowels that you couldn't see. That's all preference. If you don't want to see the screws, you could use finished nails. You could glue it all together with no screws. Just all depends on what you like. I like the look of that. So that's why we did the screws. Anything that's wet and oily, it's the rags cardboard that you did it on top of. You need to dispose of properly. While it's drying, if there's a lot of oil and it doesn't get airflow, they can spontaneously combust and catch on fire. I think getting all his shots made him tuckered out today. You sleepy Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> he 
It's like, leave me alone. I want a nap. You napping. Oh, you stained it. It was so good. You like how the box came out? Yeah. Tanner, you ready to go outside and do the chores with us for the first time? Man, that sun feels so nice. I gotta pull both right? of you? Yeah, do I have to hold the camera when I go down? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, Pluto. He doesn't <laughs> Just let him go, see what happens. He's gonna oh. jump out. <laughs> I got a leash. Come on, Tan Man. <laughs> Follow the sled mobile. Down the hill? No, but for now you can. <laughs> See ya. There you go. Go get her, Tanner. Go get her. Go. Go get her. Come on. <laughs> what happened? You all covered in snow, dude. Oh, oh <laughs> looks so funny. He does. <laughs> the snow is almost as deep as him. Pluto. <laughs> ha ha, Pluto. <laughs> Pluto. <laughs> I think we got a new addition coming to join you girls in in about a month, month and a half. Can I yep. <laughs> Looks like you ate all your hay. What's going on? There you go. It's in there, Willow. Yeah. Is that good? I didn't bring out any treats, I'm sorry. I should have, huh? I should have, yeah. Yeah. No treats. I think you'll have to carry them back in. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe not. But I think we'll want to bring him in before we go to New York City. It's gonna make him tired. He's gonna need a nap. He's gonna be pulling you up the hill before you know it. Yeah. Hey, maybe he wants to go. We'll go with him. Yeah. He's Can not I let going. Go no. Okay. Oh, you can't get traction. That's why. Pluto. Pluto. Shoom. <laughs> Tanner, this way. Good boy. Good boy. Get Libby's. Come on. Go get her. He's coming for you. He tagged you. He said, Tag, you're it. And then he sat down. Go get her. Go get her. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Uh. 
He's like, where do you think you're going? Oh. Oh. <laughs> you look so sad all covered in snow. Slow down this way. Come on. Oh, look at all them eggs. Six, seven in here. We got one here, so that's eight. Any more? Awesome. Eight eggs. Thank you, ladies. Come on. It's like, ah, oh, good trail, a good trail. I'm out of here. Are you a snow dog, Tanner? Are you a snow puppy? Are you a snow puppy? Yeah. Let's go in the house. Go warm by the stove. Go ahead. Go, Jimmy, go. go for it. Oh, <laughs> you crazy. Plot. Well, I think Tanner's fitting in perfectly here on the homestead. He's loving the snow. He's been a great dog with us. He's really good with Olivia. Watching them play tag today just melted my heart. It was so much fun. Him, Pluto, and Figaro play really well together, so we're excited. We had a good vet visit. He's doing really well. So. I can't wait till spring comes and we get to see him running around in grass. He's never seen that before, which is just kind of odd if you think about it. But it's been a long winter here. I'm looking forward to all the melt, the ice melting. That's for sure. Almost took a pretty good slip today. Luckily, a while you saw, we caught ourselves on camera, so that was good. Meaning we didn't fall. That would have would have hurt a little bit, but. I've been trying to figure out something to say at the end of a video or at the beginning of the video just to kind of help inspire and encourage us. The other day I was talking about created to do more. We got some feedback on that. Some people liked it. and I, Everybody seemed to like it, but when I say created to do more, I don't mean like to physically do more things, but I mean like we're created to do more than just punch a clock. We have passions. We have drive to do something better, not just for us, but for the world, for our kids, for our great grandkids. So I'm just looking for something to encourage us all every day including myself so if you guys can think of some little saying to say to help do that leave it in the comments down below i'm really looking looking forward to having something like that just resonate with all of us thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys you are a true blessing to our family and our homestead and we'll see you right back here in the next video at lumna acres